Hey everybody, I'd like to uh, just give you a quick update. I went ahead and put the um, these folding chairs onto my canoe. I wanted to show you how I did it um, so you can have some success in doing it as well if you wanted to modify your canoe with some folding seats because you know anybody who's been out in a canoe for a long period of time having a backrest would be very, very nice. So what I did, <clears throat> I bought these uh, folding seats. They're, they're made by Deckmate. They have different colors. So this particular one is a, a, a canoe green, matches the color of my canoe, which is nice. Uh, they fold down very easy. They've got a latch here as well, underneath to hold them closed. Flip up, they do lock back, which is great. The swivel allows the seat to go completely around 360 degrees. Really good seat, very high quality, uh, high quality vinyl, and the padding is really good as well. Folds down nicely. I'll show you what I did here. So underneath, you can see I put a Swivelese deck plate. Uh, I'll put some additional information on this on the back half of this video. This is a four inch by eight inch deck plate. Uh, now this this canoe has a you know polymer or plastic seat, so it's a little easy to get through it. However, one of the challenges I had was underneath, I wanted to through bolt these screws so it had much more support. Because uh, if it didn't, I mean, clearly this could rip right out of the plastic. So I used some stainless steel in this particular case. Uh, in this case, they were lag bolts, um, uh, or rather, yeah, uh, carriage bolts, rather. And the store that I had did not have stainless steel, 5-inch stainless steel uh, Phillips head flats, uh, flathead bolts. So I just used, these are rubber grommets, or you can, uh, uh, and what I did was I found rubber stoppers and drilled a hole through the center of them and then cut them at a 45. So it would really put a good amount of pressure on the underside of this. And this thing is sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Um, you can see I did the same on the back half of this one. So I'll show you how easy it is to take these in and out. Such down here. Come right out like this. You take them away. If you needed to, you can sit, put a towel down or something like that so you can sit on that perfectly fine and have a regular canoe. Pop it in place, and you're good to go. <clears throat> My design for this canoe was to be able to take everything off of it so you can, again, just have it as a regular canoe, throw it on top of a truck throw it in the back of a truck and not have to have everything completely attached to it. So uh, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, oh, I will put some description on the back of the video as well of the tools that I used, the size uh, uh, drill bits and um, these specific size stainless steel screws and bolts. Um, that is an Atwood, that black plate underneath there is an Atwood uh, three quarter inch post by one inch high spring, I guess, plate, they call it a base plate for a seat. And again, this is a Deckmate folding seat. Just got them all off uh, Amazon. Hope this helps, guys. Okay, we'll go over the materials for the, um, the seats. I've got a couple of pieces here that I believe are gonna work out great for the canoe. Um, first, I've got this Swivelese. It's a four inch by eight inch stainless steel base for, uh, you know, for a, a seat post to go in. Uh, drops right down in there. There's a three quarter inch hole. Uh, again, stainless steel. And I think even on the bottom here it says, yeah, four by eight. Again, made by Swivelese. This is the Atwood seat base. It's uh, one inch height. That spring. <clears throat> allows for one inch clearance. That's a three uh, quarter inch post. Um, you know, it's your standard size base for any seat. And then that will slide directly into this post when it goes into the boat. Uh, and then I have these folding seats. This is a Deckmate uh, folding seat. Really great seat. As a matter of fact, I can show you here. I went ahead and um, put one together already, but this is the seat. And what it looks like. Bear with me one second. I'll get this set up for you. 
really high quality seat, uh, plenty of room. One of the things I noticed right away on this seat is it doesn't have very large side pieces that stick out far. So if you're sitting, your your you know, your backside doesn't hit it. Um, very solid uh, vinyl in here. The cushion is great. The color is really good because it matches my canoe well. Uh, they do have various colors that you can pick. So again, this is the uh, canoe green. I went ahead and put the base on this already so you can see how that looks. Um, it comes with the four screws on the base of the seat, so it comes right, you know, attaches pretty quickly. I do want to show you what it looks like. I will um, start running through the options here on how to put it together, just so you can see uh, how we did it. seats don't come assembled from the you'll see what I mean the vinyl doesn't come attached to the seat so you can see the two pieces come off I did read on the internet that there's uh, it's very tight so you have to work really hard at getting these pieces on um, I would agree I wouldn't necessarily say it's really tight but you definitely have to stretch the, these ends over so here's the base this piece will go on here. This top, this is the top piece that will go on here. So you'll see what I mean in just a minute. This, you have to stretch over the back. You gotta give it a good tug. And then these pull out and go right up underneath here. Does not want to cooperate. There's two. So that's on there. Nice and tight. Very good. The bottom piece. Very simple. This piece just loops on here. And then on the back, you've got these pieces here that attach. Can you see? Folds down, this claps over, nice and tight. Very good. High quality foam in here, too. Very good. I'm excited to try it out. That's just going to be a number two Phillips head here if you want. These are wide enough that it's going to be perfectly fine. Now these seats are going to go right here. I'm going to put the plate, as you can see, here's an example of one down here. I'm going to cut, uh, cut a hole out of here, drop this straight down, and get it to stay flush. So I can take the seats out, throw the canoe back up on top of the roof of the truck, or however you want to store it. It should work perfectly fine. Hey, just another quick note. I realized this after I put it on. I was wondering, this has a little arrow on it. Be mindful of that because there's a slight tilt to this post. Um, I don't know if you could see it here, but it tilts back ever so slightly. If you put it on, like I did originally, pointing to the side, it's going to make your chair tilt sideways. So you want this arrow pointing to the front of your seat. If you want it to slightly have a have a backwards tilt to it so again you want that arrow pointing to the front 
so it'll slightly tilt back, uh, giving you a little bit more of a contour as opposed to uh, it tilting to the side. Just wanted to point that out.